Hi, I'm U.S. Senator Tina Smith. So thanks to all of you for your work on the Farm Bill and for your interest in expanding opportunities in agriculture for the next generation of farmers and ranchers. There is so much that we need to accomplish in the Farm Bill, but I'd like to highlight the big opportunity that we have in the bill to support new and emerging farmers, as well as farmers who have historically faced discrimination. This is the goal of my bipartisan legislation, the Increasing Land Access, Security, and Opportunities Act. So we know that the average age of an American farmer is nearing 60 years old, and nearly half of all farmlands will change hands over the next two decades. And we also know that most young farmers, emerging farmers, and farmers of color face steep barriers to buying farmland and getting started. If we don't take action, farming will be out of reach for the next generation of family farmers. The health and vitality of agriculture, rural communities, food security, and our national security is at stake. With this in mind, the USDA launched the Increasing Land Access Capital and Market Access Program in 2022. It's a mouthful, it's LCM for short. It's the only USDA program that is designed to provide flexible support and investment that meets farmers where they are and connects them with what they need to succeed. Our bipartisan bill would permanently authorize and expand this excellent program. The bill would create grants and build partnerships directly with state and tribal governments, farmer-owned cooperatives, lending institutions, and nonprofits. It supports work to strengthen access to capital and markets for folks that have been traditionally underserved by the USDA, like farmers and ranchers and forest owners and people working in high poverty areas. This help might take the form of covering closing costs or down payment assistance or for infrastructure site improvements on farmland or for technical assistance or marketing assistance. The point is to provide a leg up for the next generation of farmers and historically disadvantaged farmers in particular who've traditionally just been left out. And this will make our agriculture and local food systems stronger and more resilient for everyone. I've seen how this can work in my own home state of Minnesota where the Latino Economic Development Center, along with the Land Stewardship Project and The Good Acre, have been able to work directly with producers to connect them to lending and technical assistance. The USDA's LCM, LCM program works, and with our bill, we can keep that progress going. I'm working hard to make sure the Increasing Land Access, Security, and Opportunities Act is included in the Farm Bill, and I would love to have your help and support moving it forward and getting it done. So thank you so much for your work.